hi guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be showing us how to make the very popular nigerian street food barbecue pepper croaker fish so i'm going to be showing us how i make mine and it comes out very delicious this recipe is very special to me because i make it on special days when i want to give my family a treat so in this video i'm going to be showing us how to clean the croaker fish the pepper mix you're going to be needing to make this fish very delicious the dry rub you're going to be using as well how to marinate this fish how long you have to marinate this fish and more so if you're interested in this video stay tuned and enjoy the video to the end my name is Kewe Igwe and I'm so happy to have you in my kitchen today if this is your first time here please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're one of those that gets my video whenever I post them let's get started guys so my pepper mix is a mix of red bell peppers also known as tatashe scotch bonnet peppers also known as atarodo we're going to be using two onion balls i'm going to leave the exact measurements in the description box okay now you add all of that to your blender you're going to be adding vegetable oil to this to enable you blend this properly water cannot be used in blending your marinade so please water is not allowed you can use olive oil you can use canola oil you can use whatever type of oil you like but you cannot use water now blend that to a semi smooth texture and set aside now we'll move on to prepare our dry rub now you mix the following ingredients that you see on the screen in a small bowl or whatever bowl you have available to you then you mix this together and you set aside as well now let's clean our fish i remember the first time i wanted to make barbecue fish for myself and my boyfriend at the time and i didn't know how to clean croaker fish and i told the women in the market you know where i bought the fish from to show me how to clean croaker fish and they were laughing at me they were like croaker fish is the easiest fish to clean like how would you not know how to clean croaker fish <laughs> and then i told them to show me anyways and they told me to always tell them in the market to remove the scales of the fish it just saves you time and stress but when you get home just cut make like a straight line on the side of the fish you're going to see a little um, hole by the side so you just cut it through to the to the fins and then you remove the gills and the intestines now there's a connection between the head and the side where the intestines are just make sure it's clean and then rinse on the running water and dab the fish with a kitchen towel or a dry cloth now you make incisions on your fish you can call it tribal marks incisions just you know make these marks on your fish this is going to enable your ingredients penetrate this fish now the incisions should stop at the bone once you feel the bone that's when to stop you're going to apply your dry rub and a little bit of the oil you're using if it's olive oil canola oil whatever oil you're using just apply a bit of it it's going to help the dry rub stick to the fish make sure you apply the dry rub in all areas of that fish now you're going to transfer your fish to the tray you're going to be using to marinate your fish it can be a tray a bowl or whatever now you're going to apply your pepper mix your pepper marinade now this is the second layer of marinade you're using guys tell me how this fish will not be delicious guys we are using two layers of marinade that's like you know high class things <laughs> okay no jokes guys but this pepper mix just takes it to another level a lot of people grill their fish make their barbecue fish with just dry rub but trust me when i say adding this second layer of marinade makes it even more delicious now you're going to apply that and make sure every incision gets a bit of that marinade and you're going to cover this and marinate for at least 30 minutes okay you can marinate for one hour you can marinate for 24 hours overnight it depends on how long you have how much time you have now 
you bring it out after marinating in the fridge of course and then you're going to oil the surface where you're going to be using where you're going to be placing your fish on because you don't want your fish to stick as it's you know grilling now you're going to take this to the oven and grill at 350 degrees and remember to always preheat your oven before you put your fish it just makes it faster now to your pot you're going to add some oil you're going to add some onion rings you're going to fry till that is fragrant you don't want the onions to be translucent or soft you just want it to you know still be firm now you're going to add the rest of your dry rub and your pepper marinade okay now you're going to cover this to fry till the oil floats to the top Then you're going to check for seasoning okay so i tasted mine and i saw that i needed to season some more so i added one seasoning cube i gave this a good stir and i tasted it again to see if it was fine and i saw that i needed to add a little bit of salt i gave this a very good stir again and i tasted it was perfect so i covered it and let it fry to perfection Then I came back to check my sauce was ready. This was about three to five minutes and I just kept it aside and waited for my fish. After 15 minutes of grilling, I brought it out and I, I'm adding the third layer of marinade, which is my sauce. Now this step is very important because it's going to make your fish extra tasty and very spicy so if you don't like spice you're going to put less of the sauce now you take your fish back to the oven for another 15 minutes and then your fish is ready i already made some potato fries as my side so just serve this the way you like you can put some coleslaw on the side as well it depends on what you have at a particular time you're making your fish guys this recipe is fail proof as in if i could give you money back for your ingredients if you make this recipe and you don't like it holler me i'm going to pay you back your money for reals i made this and my husband ate it he loved this so much he posted me on his instagram page and he dashed me some money like that's no joke guys take a look at this the taste the flavor the texture everything is just perfect there is nothing less than a hundred percent when you use this recipe thank you so much for watching till this point now type bbq in the comment section so that i'll be sure you got to the end of this video please click like if you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok where i post daily updates and recipes have a lovely day guys bye